Hi guys. Oops, I thought it wasn't recording. That's why I made that face blooper. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, I'm back. I am planning on recording two videos tonight. I just finished recording um, a what's in my bag, like my little tiny bag. And now I'm going to record a, um, I'm sorry, I feel like this camera is crooked. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. So now I'm going to record a um, Dollar Tree haul. Um, I just want to take advantage that um, I'm dressed up. And I'm feeling good and um, I have the bags right here I haven't put anything away because I've been wanting to film this video I was gonna film it um, without showing my face I just showing you guys the stuff like I normally um, film hauls but I don't know I'm feeling good because I have my makeup on and I went out and I'm in a good mood so I want to do it um, face to face so I'm just gonna randomly pick things out of the bag and just show you guys the first items are these oh the glare Let's see if you can see it good these photo frames I fell in love with the color with the blue and gold I thought these look so so nice for being Dollar Tree I ended up getting um two of these i want to put these either i want to put these either somewhere in my vanity or it's just somewhere where i can see them because i want to put a picture of my son i don't know if you guys know but i have a 17 year old son and then now i'm currently pregnant with a daughter so i want to put a, a favorite picture of my son in one of them and a picture of my daughter in the other one because I feel like they're so so cute and I want to use them for something special and what more special than pictures of my kids then the next random thing is a soap this is the hibiscus and pink clay pure vegetable soap it's supposed to be nourishing it's by the Dollar Tree Bolero brand I like the smell of it oh this is what it looks like I'm sorry about the glare but this is what it looks like. I had bought um, a couple of these for me to try. But my son goes through soap. He doesn't like shower gels. I use both bar of soap and shower gel depending on how quickly I want to take a shower or whether I'm shaving or not. And I bought one of these to try because I really like the smell. But by the time I finished the one that I'm using, my son already went through those two so i bought this one i'm planning on hiding it so he doesn't use it up he goes through soap like so so quickly i don't know why then the next thing is this liquid skin um band the better band bandage it's for minor cuts cracks and abrasions it's supposed to be 100 percent waterproof quick dry ouchless no sting long lasting flexible protection seal and protect so I'm guessing this is for cuts and I wanted to give it a try I like to have to be prepared and have um, everything I need in my medicine cabinet and then I saw when I was oops, oh my belly when I was on my way out oh, when you're pregnant it's kind of hard to bend down um, when I was on my way out, I kind of noticed these pouches. And I thought they were so cute. They're supposed to be wristlets. I don't know if I'm going to use them as wristlets, but I do like them for my purse. Um, when I use a big purse, I use a lot of pouches to kind of divide things up. Also, when I travel, I use a lot of pouches. Again, for the same purpose, to divide um, things up by category. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for if I'm gonna use them for travel or my um, everyday purse or maybe even my diaper bag to put any small goodies um, of the babies in here 
but I thought they were really, really cute, and I could not um, prevent myself from picking those two up. And the next items are, I picked up two of these. These are part of their um, on-the-go line, and they're earbud cases. So I am currently using, I have one of these in my larger um, bag and I keep my headphones in it. So they're really cute and compact. You can put, if you have like those wireless headphones, you can actually store them right in here because my husband, I bought him um, a pair of those. So he stores them right here and then he puts the little charger on this side and he just keeps them in there. This is pretty compact. So they're perfect. His is blue and I have a black one in my purse and then I just bought two extra black ones because I feel like I can use them. I don't only need to use them for earbuds. I think I can use them for other smaller things as well. And then another thing that I got was this um, pacifier holder. I had been wanting one of these because I didn't pick one up the last couple of times that I was in Dollar Tree. And then the the when I did wanna pick them up, they didn't have them. So this last time that I went, they actually had them. So I picked one up and they open up like this. And basically you put the pacifier inside and you're able to hang it um, off of the carriage or wherever. So I thought, this was so cute and of course it's going to be useful once the baby is here and they had these albaline moisturizing cleansers um when i used to work in walgreens i had this older lady which had beautiful skin tell me that she always used this that she's been using this for years she doesn't use anything else this is what she uses to remove makeup and as a moisturizer and I saw it in Dollar Tree and I was like, you know what? For a dollar, I think it's time you try it. So I just picked one up so I could try it. It's actually supposed to be really good for removing makeup. So maybe I'll try it um, tonight and use it that way. And the next thing is I picked up two of these. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I picked up two of these socks. I hope they fit. They're a four, size four to 10. So they're like kid socks, but my feet are small. I'm a size six in women, five and a half, six. So I think, and they do stretch. So I think they will fit me, but I thought they were so cute. I really wanted them. I don't know, maybe I'll even wear them in the hospital when I go give birth, or maybe it's just at home when I come home from the hospital. But I thought they were so cute. I just picked up the little um, mouse one. Or, yeah, I think this is a mouse. Even though I have a phobia of mouses. But I thought the socks were really cute. And then I got, I got the um, piggy ones. They're so adorable. I can't wait to wear those. It's summertime. You can hear the motorcycles here in Jersey. And they had um, these... Um, headbands by scunchie they actually had these i think they had them in black and in this bronze color and i forget they had one other color oh silver i think they had them in silver too but i just picked it up in this bronze color because i thought um it was just something that i would use more so i love hot headbands and i was so happy that they had these this is the Shea Solutions um, products, hair products. I love these. And I was so happy that they. I finally saw them again because I used the leave-in conditioner from this line. I actually um, have it on my vanity right now and I put it on before I left the house because now that the summer is here and it's hot, I don't. I tend not to blow dry or strain my hair as much. I usually wear it curly. And for some reason, now that I'm pregnant, my curls are 
almost completely back so what I will normally do is I'll wash my hair and I'll put in um, like two leave-ins and the one by this brand is one of the leave-ins that I that I use and I noticed that they had this curl stretch cream so I bought it so I can try it out and I've used the leave-in I've used I'm already like on my second or third bottle because I bought like dupes of it and I love it. I know that it works for my hair. I don't know about this, but I did want to try it. It's made with shea butter and it's uh, supposed to be a curl stretch cream like I said and it says it moisturizes and strengthens, strengthens to maximize curls. So it looks pretty, um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see but it looks kind of like mm, it smells good too um it looks pretty creamy i mean it's supposed to be a cream but i'm, I'm gonna give it a try i think i'm gonna like it because that i really like the other product um that they make then i also saw these before i went to pay and they are it's a nail graffiti 3D nail art rock and wild nail art book and it has 300 pieces. And it just basically has like di different little stickers for your nails. I did try, I did do my nails today and I did try, I don't know if it's gonna focus, to put some stickers. Unfortunately, I did the mistake of doing my nails and putting the stickers on them before I took a shower and washed my hair. So, of course, when I washed my hair, two of the stickers, um, kind of like pieces of the stickers came off. So what I did to cover that up was I put, um, oh, I don't know if it's gonna show, I just put like glitter on the two nails where um, the stickers fell off and it, it still looks cute. Glitter fixes everything, you guys. If you're doing your nails and you don't, and you, you kind of make a mistake and you don't have time to fix it, like remove the nail polish and then reapply and wait for it to dry, just get glitter, any type of glitter nail polish. You put it in the area where you, where you messed up, where you have a dent or the nail polish is messed up you put it there it covers it up right up and it looks like you just did some type of design on your nails i've used that trick for years i always do that most if you ever most of the time that you see me with glitter on my nails is that i messed up and i ended up using glitter to cover the mess up because ain't nobody got time to reapply nail polish and wait another year for it to dry. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it so much. So along with the photo frames, I saw these. And I have been wanting these. I actually, even in my um, Instagram, if you guys follow me, it's at KMCSTYLOSTILO. I posted um, pictures of these when I saw them about a month ago in another Dollar Tree, not the one near my house. And when I went back, they weren't there anymore, with the along with the photo frames. And then the Dollar Tree near me closed down for, I think, almost a month. So it recently opened up so that I was able to find the photo frames and find these which i really um wanted and one of them says follow your dreams the other one says family is forever so they are so nice i love that they're gold i love like that the white background i don't know what you call that print but i just love it and i feel like they just go so nicely with the photo frames too but um, I'm planning on putting the one that says family is forever with a collage of um, family photo frames that I'm planning on doing in the living room. And then the one that says follow your dreams, I think I'm going to put 
um, where I'm gonna have the two photo frames of my kids or like this area that I have in the living room where I have this cubby where I put everything that um, I either need for my purse or remove from my purse. And then the next items I picked up are raisins. I love the fact that in Dollar Tree, six packs of raisins are a dollar because in other stores they're not some stores even sell these for or supermarkets even sell these for five dollars and i like raisins i think they're like a great for snacking i like to put them in my um purse and also they help like when i'm having a hard time like going to the bathroom they help me with that so i like to um, have raisins on hand and I only have two more items guys and I'll be done with this haul so the last thing that I well not the second to last thing that I got was this super cute it's a letter set oh sorry it comes like this so I they have several of these I got the unicorn one but I think they have a llama one which is really cute the main reason why I got it though is because of the pouch. I'm planning on repurposing the pouch and using it for either like stationary storage or for some type of um for storing something in my purse. As I said, I love pouches. When I do with you guys a what's in my larger bag um purse. I'm sorry, what's, uh, when I share with you guys uh, what's in my purse with um, like a larger bag, I'm going to show you guys like the little um, tote system. No, not tote. I'm sorry. The little pouch system that I have going on and how I use them to kind of store and um, divide everything. So basically in the little letter set, you get, um, you get some letter paper you also get some cards so you can write in them and you get the envelopes which are super cute i don't know i'm old school so i love cards and i love letter rent handwritten notes and letters and i love mailing people stuff uh so or like giving people birthday cards or like little notes i'm old-fashioned like that and if anybody sends me or a card or gives me a note i cherish it like i i keep i have a uh, boxes in the very top of a closet in my apartment with like uh, letters from when i was like in high school when i was a teenager i just i love handwritten letters and actually when i was dating my husband we had a long distance relationship I would always tell him like you know it would be nice to receive a letter from you and one day he surprised me and he sent me a letter with um someone that was traveling here and I was just like so happy to me it was like he gifted me like I don't know a trip to Paris or something I was so happy so the last thing in my haul is this it's um the Swiss Miss marshmallow hot chocolate I'm probably gonna it's it's pretty late right now but i'm probably gonna make myself this before i go to bed because i've been craving it or the baby has been craving it so i finally bought a box and since i'm sharing the haul with you guys i can put all this stuff away so i feel like i'm probably gonna have some hot chocolate tonight and that's it that's everything that was um part of this haul i didn't get that much stuff because i didn't even know the store was had reopened i was passing by um, I was going somewhere and I noticed that it was open so I went in and I just picked up those things and that's it that's my Dollar Tree haul and I'm glad that you guys um, shared this little Dollar Tree haul with me and let me show myself again I'm kind of getting used to this whole being on camera thing it's not bad I just have to, the lighting in my apartment is horrible, so I'm still trying to work that out. And I'm filming on my phone, so the little thing where I have my phone on, I think it's like lopsided. 
so I'm very sorry if these videos are coming out lopsided but I'm going to keep working on it and I will see you guys in my next video please subscribe it'll help me out a lot or like my videos if you guys have any questions or any requests comment down below and I will be sure to answer and I will see you guys bye bye